We will start by taking a quick look at the project files. Under Assets, you will find CSS, Images, and JavaScript files associated with the shopping cart demo design. Under Demo, Express Checkout Basic, you will find the files that make up the flow of Express Checkout, including a shopping cart index file, the PayPal Express Checkout API call files, an order review page, and an order complete page. You will also find an error page under the demo directory. Within the includes directory, you will find a sample config file. This should be adjusted with your own details and saved as config.php. The vendor directory is where the PHP class libraries are stored. This includes the AngelEye PHP library as well as the Twitter Bootstrap library, which is what the shopping cart demo design is built with. Now we will take a closer look at the PHP checkout flow as it corresponds to the shopping cart user experience. The index page sets up our static shopping cart using PHP session variables for demo purposes. The rest of this page is a basic HTML layout with bootstrap elements. You can see that we are looping through the shopping cart items to display the cart items in design. A PayPal Express Checkout button is placed on this page as a link to the setExpressCheckout.php file. This file loads the PayPal library, sets the parameters like the return URL, cancel URL, logo URLs, brand name, and phone number. The parameters are passed into the setExpressCheckout method of the PayPal class, which handles the communication with PayPal, and if no errors are returned, the user is redirected to PayPal to log in. Now we will see that in action in the design window. The buyer will review the payment at the PayPal screen and click to continue checkout. When this happens, the user is sent back to the return URL specified in the setExpressCheckout.php file, which in this case is our getExpressCheckoutDetails.php file. This is where we gather all of the buyer details that PayPal returns to us. You can see here we are able to load the buyer's name, email address, phone number, and shipping address into the variables for easy access later. Also, now that we know the buyer's shipping address, this is where we can pull shipping rates from any source we need to, as well as calculate sales tax. For demo purposes, I am setting static values for these amounts. With all of the data prepared and easily accessible, we redirect to a final review page where we can display all of the totals before finalizing the payment. The review page is much like the index page, except that it uses all of the session data we now have available to display final details to the buyer. When the complete order button is clicked, the final API call, Do Express Checkout Payment, is made which actually processes the payment and moves the money. No transaction is actually processed until this final API call is completed successfully. This is very important. You can see that we are loading it with all of the details we've gathered throughout the checkout flow up to this point. When the Do Express Checkout Payment API call is completed, we load the PayPal transaction ID and fee amount into session data for easy access if we wish to update our database or send ourselves an email. Upon clicking the button, our final call is made and our order complete page is loaded. This page is essentially the same as our review page except that we display messaging thanking the user for their order and confirming that the order has now been completed successfully.